collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Zen. Series of you boys to collect it. What have collective hang on? Flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. To book a private reading with me or to shop in my store, all that information is in the description box below. Okay? Don't forget there is a introductory protection class that is coming up. All right? More information will be posted in the community tab. But that uh, class is on March 23rd, 2024. Okay, so one hour class, and that class will be $45. Okay? All right, okay, good. All right, let's see what's going on here. Someone is a wreck. Yeah, someone is a wreck over you. In shambles over you. Do you see how love is in reverse? But it says true love. It's like this person has lost their true love or this true love is never coming back. And they are a wreck. And they're trying to figure out, like, how can they fix this? They feel rusty. It's like they cannot explain this feeling. They never they never experienced this feeling before. And they don't know how to explain it. But they feel very lovesick over you. Yeah, you got somebody that's going through some really uh, emotion, uh, emotional turmoil over you. I'll say they're yeah they're emotionally disturbed is what I'm hearing. They feel like when you walked away or moved away, however way you exited this situation here, um, they feel like you took a piece of their heart with them. We have volcano here. Like they never thought they had such strong feelings for you. It's very strong. It's like they're yearning for you. So I'm hearing like, uh, uh, like that, like zombie, zombie groans, or this is just how this person is, is like crying, I guess. But it sounds like zombie sound. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like somebody's moaning and groaning because they can't be with you. Yeah, because of changes. A lot of changes to the story that you were speaking out and that they have depicted about you. It has changed. And you grew not to love this person anymore. You walked away from this person. You exit this situation here. The community is very aware. The community is aware as to how sick this person feels. Okay? Feels about you. They talk about you a lot. They're always bringing, always bringing up your name in very, it don't matter, peculiar, odd times. Like, you're watching TV. Oh, the collective like that. Or... You know, they're brushing their teeth. Oh, the collective like that. Too. It's, it's always, they always including you in their day-to-day -day conversations. And it's starting to 
get the attention of others, you know, who's still around this individual as to why they keep talking about you in that way. But it's a lot of shadow work because they feel stuck. They feel stuck and they cannot rest. <clears throat> I just keep hearing, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. That's all I keep hearing. I'm sorry. But outer strength is in reverse. Like, this person wants to portray that they're very strong, but they're not. They in shambles over you, child. Mm. Even mask and off family, take it how it resonates, but they are in shambles. Like, they trying to find you with, trying to find you with a flashlight in the daytime. Somebody eating pancakes. Every time I'm reading for y'all, y'all always eating something. Like this person wishes that they can undress the time or they can go back in time and fix it or redress it. But they feel very vulnerable in a very vulnerable state or a very open state because you just move forward like, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just skedaddle out of here. You know what? I have these twin flame cards that I should use. So we can dive deeper into the karmics. Okay, let's see. So this is the twin flame soulful messages. Okay. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to give you the love you desired. Okay? So someone is crying over you. I couldn't give my love to you because my cup was empty. So this person thought that you were a game. They took you for a game. They played you for a game. Um, they took advantage of your time, your love, your energy. They just, they just thought it was funny. They weren't ready for love, but... They look at it in a very childish manner or they play with you and played it attempted to play with you in a very childish manner here. Now it's a concern here because they could be going to going to jail. For for what? So we got message of concern for money. They can go to jail for money. Money that they took from you. So, if you were in a connection from before, this person took money from you unbeknownst to you. Or money was given, given to them by someone in regards to you. Yep. Hmm. Somebody's really regretting how they treated you. They took, they took money to do something to you. Yeah. They took money to do something to you. They don't want you to know how deep they are. They are in with this ex, ex-lover, ex-spouse, whatever, however. They don't want you to know that they are deep into this too. But they took money to harm you. Yeah, that's judgment. They took money to harm you. Your ex took money to harm you. And they are so afraid of you finding that out. Oh, man, Pisces. God, man. Jeez. Pisces season is crazy. They wanted to doubt your growth. You didn't doubt your growth, but they wanted you to doubt your growth. They wanted to always be very close to you to make you fail. Abundance is in reverse. So they'll do things towards you, say things towards you to make you feel less than. This was turning into a hate connection as well, too. They hated how you have a connection to source. You may not have been at one point in time, 
But when things started to happen more, you know, you started to look for some kind of a solace or solace in a higher power here. And um, they noticed that about you and they didn't like it. They thought it was weird. They thought it was off because this person is an atheist or don't believe in a higher power. Yeah, they don't believe in a higher source here. They think it's all mumble jumbo, whatever. So they didn't take you serious. To be honest, I actually feel like they mock your um, your perspective of things when it comes to a higher source. They thought it was funny because they didn't believe in it. Like they taunt you behind your back about it. Now they want forgiveness. Yeah, that's the secret. They were paid money to harm you. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Sad. Sad. And they're crying over you because they realized that what they did was really fucking crazy. After the fact, of course. Like they're realizing why they're not growing. They're realizing why they had to stand still here. All divine timing to be honest they wanted to impress people this person was very flashy very gaudy with their things and themselves and they always wanted to be looked look at as that that girl or that guy and they were willing to do anything to make sure they were that girl and guy to the point of your own demise which is fucking crazy But it was your optimism that pulled you through. They always try to kill your high spirits. Oh, that ain't gonna work. That's a stupid idea. That's this, that's that. Why you want to do that? Blah, blah, blah. Like, they never believed in you at all. They thought everything you said was dumb. Everything that you did was dumb. Anything that you do was weird. Like, they always try to... It was, it's just very odd, which I don't understand why they would be crying over you if you feel that way about the collective. It just doesn't make sense. They hated the fact that you said something or you would speak up in regards to them or say something back to them. They found that to be very disrespectful. Like, what the f Man, these people are weird as fuck. Resilience is here. You were very resilient to their bullshit. Um, technology, they could have some kind of a bacterial staph infection. This X here. There's an X that is sick on a, uh, on their uh they're on their 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 deathbed their deathbed. I, I gotta I gotta keep it real. Somebody got some kind of a staph infection or something. But it traveled to the heart. So I'm not a doctor or anything. I, I I'm just telling you what I'm channeling, okay? Like I said, there's something wrong with the heart of this ex here. I didn't even realize it said create for a heart brain. See? Heart brain coherence for super resilience. Yeah, it's some yeah, there's an ex that's really sick right now. Some kind of a staff, staff a staff infection, and they didn't catch it in time, and this person passes away from that. You're going to find out by technology. You may even get a dream. You may have like a premonition that this person passed. This person may come to you in a dream. Like the night before they pass. Or they may have done that. Yeah, you know, water has memories. Okay, it could be a water sign. A low vibrational water sign. I'm hearing the Jackson 5. Joy yourself, joy yourself, joy yourself with me. Mm -mm. Joy yourself, joy yourself, enjoy yourself with me. Enjoy yourself. Got mm -mm. to enjoy yourself. They mocked your intelligence. This person was just a bully towards you. They really were. 
But this person, I gotta be honest with you, are you okay? Is in reverse. They're not okay. They're keeping this quiet. This was a person that was stalking you, being very assertive, didn't care about your boundaries or anything like that. And they are they are sick. They are sick. Angels and guys are in reverse. This person is experiencing a lot of mystical experiences. So while they're sick, a lot of, hey, I got to say, there's a lot of dark energies that's surrounding this person. And it's speeding up the process of their, you know, pre-transition. Yeah, it's like they're initiated into the next life, the next stage. I, bruh. Yo, this is, look. Offering and karma. And they're, they're in a lot of pain. They could, damn, they could be in a coma or something. Wow. Ooh. Resurrection is in reverse. I'm hearing Patra. She's a, a, a dance hall artist, Jamaican dance hall artist back in the 90s. But that's what I'm hearing, Patra, queen of the pack. Somebody could be listening to that particular song, or you could be listening to her in general. She's a good, she's a good artist. Yeah, she's like a Spice. Uh, you know Spice? Uh, the, the more so updated or current Jamaican dance hall artist. She was like the spice of the 90s. Or like the Foxy Brown of reggae. Yeah, or little, the Lil' Kim of reggae, you say it like that. <sighs> people are getting clarity as to what's happening here. There's a lot of people that's afraid of this person passing. It's a lot of somber energy around me. Like, I just, I feel dragged and I feel drugged. Like, feels slow. Like, everything's in slow motion. Everything feels very heavy. Yeah, that's that's what I'm feeling. It's not my energy, but that's just how I'm feeling. Like, there's a lot of somberness, a lot of dense, heavy energy surrounding this person. And then I just see people around the bed and people crying. This person has a lot of gray or... Could be wispy gray here, but it's falling out. Like this person's losing their hair. It's bad. And it don't make it any better that they're like crying over you. But they're really guilty for what they did. To be honest with you, they brought on this sickness. The, it's the guilt that onset of this sickness because they can't stop thinking about what they've done. Like, they're really, truly, truly regretting what they've done. Like, this guilt is eating them alive. It's like knowing that you are innocent or finally being aware that you are innocent and then going back and replaying all that they have done towards you. It's like an entrapment in their mind. Like, wow. I really treat that person that way. Like, wow, oh my God. Like, they feel so guilty. Yeah, because they had time to themselves to, like, sit and think about what they've done. And they're regretting everything. But I really do feel like they're regretting because they had no choice but to see themselves in the mirror. <clears throat> they don't like what they see, of course. They use sex magic towards you to bring you forward. Oh, that's not even sex magic. Let's just go. But there's a card that looks like this that says sex magic. I'm sure it's going to pop out. I'm going to take that as confirmation though. Let's see. A walking meditation. Just go. They may have told you that. They may have told you just leave, go, get out. And you did just that. You call their bluff. Because this person thought that you would always need them. And you just met them with silence. Because you protected yourself with silence. That was your protection. Silence was your protection. 
because this person was like a raging bull on you and they didn't want you to know why because they felt guilty for what they did to you it's like having information that you know can potentially save someone's life or change the narrative of a situation from deadly to, to better they knew they had the information but they couldn't tell you because it, it just they felt like they felt stuck in a rock between a rock and a hard place. They didn't know what to do. They felt really stuck. They feel bad. But they took money. They did. They took money. They took money to harm you. From family and families watching. Family is the key. Family is the root of all this bullshit. They the one that started all of this here. Yeah, it's already happened. Somebody's love sick for how they treated you. They're in shock. Everything has halted in their life. Miracles are in reverse. Everything has halted. Clarify miracles in reverse. Thoughts and visions of you and me together together never leave my mind. Yeah, you are on this person's mind very, 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 very heavily. Very heavily. Why? I realized that there's a strong bond between us. When they had the moment to sit down and to recollect or to reflect on the things um, that they were told to do because they took the money they realized that they made a big mistake and they just realized just how extreme these family members went to get you you know to harm you like they pushed they pushed them to do this eight of swords and this person feels trapped they came at them with lies about you, lies that wasn't true. Um, and they pushed this person or this person feels like they were duped or this is how this karmic feel. They feel like they were duped or more so manipulated into doing this because of the money that they were offering. It wasn't like a, a hundred dollars or 500. It was like a 10,000, $20,000, you know, it was a lie at one time. It was a lot at one time, but they were taking it from your funds. So they were paying people with your funds that they have to pay back. The city has to pay back. That's what's being revealed. Remember, everything is not going to resonate, okay? So please just take what resonates. Mother, moon, energy. You got the five of pentacles and the page of cups. They're receiving bad news here about the money. You just got to let people be, boo. You just got to let people do. And there's, there's proof of wiring and, and um, uh, cash, peer-to-peer uh, -peer services, apps, cash app, PayPal, stuff like that. That's there. All to stop you from not having something which is a life, a good life for a family. Like they wanted to delay your success with the world and the Ten of Cups, but they needed the people that was close to you to do it so they can get off scotch-free. Also, what I'm hearing Spirit is telling me now is that there are insurance policies or there were insurance policies and they're trying to cancel it so it doesn't look too obvious because they don't know what to do. Mm-hmm. Death. They're trying to reconstruct or they're trying to end something. Okay, it could be a Scorpio, take out how it resonates. But they're trying to end something with these insurance policies here because they realize they're caught and they don't want to they don't want to get in trouble. But there's so much overwhelming evidence in regards to what these these family demons were doing. 
It was all about money. Ten of swords, ten of ten of pentacles. Damn, nine of swords, three of swords. Wow. It was all about money. Ten of swords, nine of swords, and the three of swords with the high priestess. You being aware or knowing what's going on here. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. They worked with them. Or they had them. They paid them to keep their nose clean, to keep their hands clean. But all, all everything points back to them. And that's what they're afraid of. Mm-hmm. That's what they're afraid of. Like, they were paying so much money that they went broke. They used their money first. Until they were able to get access to your money. Take a hot resonance, please. Okay? They were willing to do anything. Like, I feel like it's multiple inheritance. I do. I truly do. I do. I feel there's multiple inheritance that you're supposed to get. And you will receive it. It's the end of conflict with the five of swords. There's just way too much swords on here. This is fed time. Fed. Not little feds, big feds. You know, you know, you could probably serve like two, five years in the feds. Yeah, I'm talking about a long ass time for these people. For the shit that they were doing. And they thought that they thought they had a down pat. Four of wands. They thought they can celebrate. Well, that's in reverse. They thought they could celebrate. They were so confident. <laughs> Not anymore. Because the chariot is in reverse. They ain't going nowhere. They lost control of everything. You got somebody sick on the bed. Sick over you. Physically, mentally, all that stuff. They feel so guilty. That they did it. And they're trying to find a way to like apologize or to fix it. Anything to fix it. But there's someone that is sick. Again, that's not gonna resonate with everybody. You don't know. You, they don't want you to know, but there's someone that's sick. Yeah, they're sick on their uh their deathbed, just being honest. Starting over. Yeah, they get ready to bury this person, this ex. <sighs> Someone's really sick. Bashfulness. Like, even though they're sick, they're still thinking of you. Do you ever see someone so guilty that they lose weight and they lose a lot of weight because the guilt is really eating them alive? Like, true statement. The guilt is eating them alive. This person is unrecognizable. Crazy. All, you, all I keep hearing is what did I do? Loyalty is in reverse. They didn't have no loyalty for you at all. They thought you were too good to be true, child. <laughs> they really thought you were too good to be true. Because you believe in a higher source, which makes no sense. Like you were weird, too weird for them. And because you were too weird or too different for them, they wanted to make fun of you. But they wanted to make fun of you in a way where you're hurt. It's weird. They're in jail. Like a body jail. Physical jail. They're in low self-esteem. They can't get out of it. Could be an Aries. Low vibrational Aries. You could be a high vibrational. Take out resonance. This is a fake emperor, okay? You're not communication with this person.
Mm -hmm. Some sudden changes with the Gemini that's not going to receive good news. They're going to be shocked. They are so scared because they're receiving lots of bad luck. We have financial failure here. Someone's in financial failure ruins. They're abusive. They just want to, they just want to, um, like hide. They want to run away because the karma is too much to bear. This person's homeless on the verge of being homeless. They're heartbroken. Wow. Somebody going through bad karma. I want to sneeze so bad. <laughs> They're emotionally exhausted. Their prayers are not being heard. They live a life of hell. Living a life of hell. Okay, it could be a friend. Take that how that resonates. A jealous friend that has a, a pregnancy or hiding a pregnancy. Has a lot of anxiety over this fake empress. Okay. Do not trust this person. Do not. Or this person may have a miscarriage. Take out how it resonates. Everybody's story is going to be different. Okay. They're going to have a lot of legal matters, which is very shocking to them because they were involved in this bullshit too. Mm -hmm. That's the secret. <clears throat> Your family really put a lot of people in the ringer, bro. I don't understand. People really don't have a mind of their own. They don't. I, I, I don't get it. Like, your, your family dynamic led a lot of people to a stray, like, to destruction. And they just allowed that shit. That's crazy. And to even think that they were on board with hurting you, that's even crazier. Because they felt that. You know, they felt that way about you. They felt that you needed to be hurt. And you didn't do anything to but help these people. Like, this is... I'll never get it. I just... I'll never get it. You getting hurt for helping. Crazy. This person going to hell in a handbasket, child. They're not, they're not happy. They're in a lot of pain. A lot of excruciating pain. infection some kind of infection and the infection is just taking over leadership is in reverse like they can no longer lead or they're not in a leadership role or they can't lead their life anymore because of all that's happening somebody could be a chief you can have indian background you may live on a reservation this person can't be intimate anymore. Okay, they're they're Netherlands, they're sexual, whatever you want to call it, it's not working anymore. It's impotent. Yeah, they can't have sex anymore. It's impotent. Adventures in reverse. Oh, they're sick, so you can't have sex. You're sick, you know. There's a lot that's going on with this person. The staph infection, something with the heart. And that's in the bloodline or bloodstream, or it doesn't look good. It's just very grim. It just looks very grim. Imagination is in reverse. Like this is not an imagination, it's just someone's reality inquiry people have questions 
I feel like this person is going to come to you before they transition. Like, they're going to find an innovative way to reach out to you, to connect with you. And I, ha I have to give the message, like, when this person take their last breath, like, you're going to know. Like, you're going to feel it or something. Yeah, synergy. You're going to feel it. I just keep feeling like a deep sigh. That's that's what I feel. You're gonna be you're gonna transmute this energy. Like, I just feel like I just like I just wanna take a deep sigh. Like wow, like wow. There's a girlfriend or ex-girlfriend or uh, someone that sticks around this ex or ex-spouse and how it resonates. They are so distraught that this person is very sick. They don't know what to do. They know why this person is sick. But that's something that they thought that they could take to their grave. But that's going to haunt them as well, too. Because they helped them in this bullshit, too. It's, it's a lot of people involved. It's a lot of people involved in this dumb shit, man. And they are regretting. Because they have no protection. There's a lot of shit happening with them. And their family dynamic. The... the your ex's ex or your ex's current person or whatever, they got a, shit, a lot of shit with them too that they can't stop from happening. They're afraid. Yeah, they don't want people to get a new perspective or they don't want people to know that they're struggling really bad. Like really, really, really bad. Somebody's going to an Ivy League school. Congratulations. Someone's child or kids are going to private school or sooner go to private school. You have wisdom. Okay. It's a really good private school I'm hearing. It's one of the best. We have unplug. You're going to be able to unplug or live life very privately because you're healing or that is a gift from the universe is healing abilities. We have healing abilities collected. And you're going to be getting more visions of that or you're going to be stepping more into your healing modes or you're going to be <sighs> tuning into the um, into the modalities of healing so you're going to learn new modalities of healing okay some of you guys might be a medium Okay, you, yeah, some of you guys are coming into your mediumship, meaning that you can cross others over or connect with the dead, okay? It's a really cool gift to have, all right? <laughs> but if, if that's something that you don't want, okay, that's fine. Don't force it. You can close it, okay? But there's some of you guys that are now coming into your mediumship, okay? You may see spirits. You may hear um, these spirits, um, you may actually feel them. Okay. But I feel like they, you see them in, in like visually you see them or the corner of your eye. That's the truth. You could be nervous about that. You're not crazy. You're fine. <laughs> You're not crazy. You're good. That's for the collective. Somebody was praying on your downfall. Somebody eating water ice. I know back in Philly or the Tri-State area, when it's the first day of spring, readers always give out a free uh free water ice. I miss that. I do miss that. 
I miss them gelatis. Blueberry with uh, vanilla ice cream on top. Yes. I miss that. Mm -hmm. I sure do. We have nourishment, introspection, and productivity. So nourishment is for the body. Their body is like wasting away. Productivity, they're just there. Like could be like a vegetable and an introspection. So it's like everything on their body is like breaking down, but they can still like they still have their mind. Like everything else is breaking down, but they can still think and things like that, but they might not be able to speak. Like, yeah, this is this is not this is not good. This is not good. This is not good at all. Like this person can't raise their vibration. And justice, they miss they misjudged you. They misjudged you. They tried to torment you. And now they being tormented. It's crazy. It's crazy how the tables turn. It's really crazy. But somebody's an emotional right over you, child. Even on their their That's crazy. All right, that letter on the ground is you. It fell, so it's like, yeah, they, they, like, they're not near you. Someone is learning a very harsh lesson. Someone is watching someone, like, waste away, and they are, like, mortified. Like, they're, because they know, they know why it's happening. Yeah, it's, it's like, really hard to watch this person in this manner. This is a karmic I'm speaking about. Someone's last name could be more M O O R E. It could be more M O R E. I'm hearing Goodings. Your favorite actor may be Cuba Gooding Jr. Somebody has to pay their VAT tax, V A T. Someone loves caviar. All right. Someone loves to go fishing. Someone loves the color. Um, so I'm hearing uh, the word rouge. And it's French for red. So someone loves the color red or you love French, French food or something, French fries. French fries are not from France, it's from Belgium, but you know, French. You, you may like French fries, okay? Um, I'm hearing equalizer. If you're moving, you're going to get a really sweet deal with the movers or the moving truck or something to that nature. That's confirmation. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a good deal. Somebody loves Mexican food. <laughs> Someone's nickname is VJ, MJ, FJ, QJ, EJ, HJ. Yeah, OJ, CJ. It's a lot of <laughs> JJ. Someone lives in Jacksonville. Someone loves Dairy Queen. Someone loves Fonsworth Bentley. He used to uh, run in the same circle as Puff Daddy. I'm hearing Level Up by Sierra. We got Uranus, Scorpio, second house. I'm just going to do three of these. Uh, Mars, fourth house, Capricorn. Seventh house, Pisces. Mars. We got Pisces. Capricorn. Leo. Sag. Leo. Let's do three more. Scorpio. Leo. God damn. Scorpio. Okay. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, and the notification bell. Until next time.